the final installment in the Maze Runner trilogy. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I read The Death Cure by James Dashner himself. And well, let's get right on to it. Before I get onto the summary, I want to clarify I know this looks like a movie poster. I'm pretty sure they changed the covers after the movie came out. It's a Kindle book. Like, yeah, it's, li it's quite literally a Kindle book. So. If you're confused about that, that's that's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, let's get right on to the summary. So our dear Thomas wakes up in a white room and is quarantined there for over three weeks. After three, and that is the final trial. They want to see what would happen if he's alone and festering within a room, only given food and not even allowed to clean himself. Afterwards, the Rat Man or the, or co-director Jansen basically lets Thomas out and wants to return the memories, their stolen away memories, to the rest of the Gladers and Group B. However, however, Minho, Newt, and Thomas, they don't want to. They don't trust Wicked at all, and they don't think they want them messing with their minds even more. Meanwhile, we find out that Minho, Thomas, and the rest of them are mostly immune to the disease known as the Flare. However, Newt is not. He is, he is probably has already caught the Flare and is pretty much a crank as well. However, Minho and Thomas and Newt take the trance, and together with Brenda, the, Brenda and George, they manage to escape, taking a ship and running away. And first, they go to Denver, where they know an ex-wicked researcher named Hans is residing in. Hans can probably take out the controller chips that are inside their brains, you know, so that wicked can't control them any anymore. So basically, they need to get those chips out. So they go into Denver, and they try to find Hans, they find him, and they manage to get the chips out. Afterwards, they meet the galley, you know, that guy who went crazy and killed killed poor old chuck in book one well he isn't the villain anymore he's joined the a rebel group rebellious against wicked a rebel group called the right arm and the right arm they want their hope to infiltrate the base and basically they just say they'll consider it and they go to a cafe however their bounty hunters who are working for wicked captures him and one and goes to sell him to someone else, since immunes are pretty much very, very, very valuable. However, Jansen intercepts and rescues and rescues Thomas. Why does Jansen do that? He he tells he tells some BS to Thomas that this is the only way to save Newt. He was the final candidate. He was perfect. If they, if they did one final trial, they would be able to map out the brain and finally create a cure for the flare. And at, at, at first, of course, we think, oh, that actually sounds good. Maybe if it just goes through one final trial. However, I mean, come on, Wicked's done nothing but lie, and it wouldn't be a first if they lied about this. So... So basically, they just don't think about it, and they go back to their ship. However, when they go to their ship, they find out that Newt, who had been left on the ship because he's a crank, has been taken by officers. And they go to see Newt, but Newt doesn't want them, want them, and he was basically a crank already anyway, so they just go away and they escape. It's really, really sad, though. And meanwhile, you, I haven't told you guys this, but at the, basically at the, around the start of the book, um, Newt gives Thomas a note. A note that says, well, something. He, he says that to open it when the time is right. However, however, she hasn't opened it yet. So she opened the note and it said, Kill me. If you're ever my friend, kill me. How dark is that? And then... And then they are captured again by some bounty hunters in Denver. And then they realize that these bounty hunters are working for the right arm. And they're going to pretend to sell these immunes to Wicked. And using that, they would use that opportunity to barge in and take over Wicked. They have found a way to 
basically just dis disassemble every single weapon in the Wicked facility. And they just needed to plant it, and it would take around 10 minutes to activate. To do this, our dear, ja our dear Thomas is going to risk his neck, go in, plant the device, and deactivate each and every single one of the weapons in the Wicked facility. Now, for this plan to work, they need to go to Wicked, and Thomas needs to hang himself in, and they are about to do that. However, when they are about to go into a ship, they find out they see Newt, who is a complete crank by that time. He has gone completely crazy and well it's just it's just not good. And finally Thomas makes the hard choice. Newt had asked him to do this after all. And he walks up to Newt and he shoots Newt in the head. Because that was what Newt had wanted and that was the mercy that he could show him right now. Afterwards, we find out that basically what the Wicked wants to do to Thomas is they want to rip his brain apart and analyze it. So he, he won't survive the final trial. So yes, they were pretty much lying about it. And Thomas pretends to agree with it and manages to plant the device that's going to disassemble all the weapons inside the bathroom. Yep, inside the bathroom. And they manage to do it and Thomas is about to get his brain ripped apart. And then all goes dark, but thankfully Chancellor Page, who is the actual director of Wicked, who is actually a good person, manages to save manages to save our dear Thomas. However, Jensen disagrees and when well, goes ahead and tries to get <sighs> tries to get Thomas again. Thomas fights him off. Meanwhile, the right arm is storming the facility, and finally we have won. However, we find out that the leader of the right arm wants to blow up the entire Wicked facility. Now, this would be an okay thing to do. However, we know that hundreds of immunes are trapped under the Wicked facilities in the maze. Which is not good. I mean, all these innocent people are gonna die if they don't get them out. So together, the old gang Minho, Teresa, Zamas, Brenda and Joel, together, I mean George, together they go in the maze and they rescue the people. They find a back door out into paradise and they go in and there's paradise. And that is the end of the book. Now, I feel like the author actually did a really good job just having that really happy, bright, typical ending. Why? Because they've been through so, so, so much. Like, like they had to kill their own friend. And they've seen so many friends and family die next to each other. And finally, they deserve some peace and happiness at the end of the long road. And I believe that the author actually made the right call during this corny ending. Now, some people might disagree with me. However, I think it is the right choice, especially since... Come on, these guys are probably mentally diseased by now, with all the trauma that Wicked has given them. And I think it was a fitting finale to the Maze Runner trilogy, and I believe that it was a great book, a series, a trilogy, whatever. However, I do say that it was extremely violent, like even more violent than Hunger Games, and I really like the concept of Wicked and all this, all this flare virus. It's kind of like like a zombie apocalypse kind of feeling and yeah okay i get it and yeah it was a great book all in all and it was really creative work like i have already said and especially the fact that disease flare it's created by humans and that's like it could happen in the in the future like so bioengineered crazy virus is released into the atmosphere and people will die and the entire human ex human race could go extinct it can happen although it probably won't turn people into zombies um it can happen so i feel like it is a very good science fiction as i've said so many times with a good base of well could happen in the future base and like always your book question and the book question great book highly recommended thank you guys so much for watching have a great day goodbye